Alright, question 9, we have to write as a decimal fraction. So I'm underlining the word decimal fraction, just a quick recap of what decimal fraction means. That's a um, number in the following format, where we've got up to three uh, digits to the right of the decimal com point or comma, uh, and they each represent the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So tenths, meaning a common fraction, would, with a denominator of 10, hundredths, struggle to spell this word sometimes, hundredths, hundredths, that's with a, a, a decimal, I mean a common fraction with a denominator of a hundred, and then you've got your thousandths, um, which is a common fraction with a denominator of a thousand. That's your thousandths. Okay, so the first question is actually pretty straightforward. Um, 3 over 100, um, that's just saying they're 3 hundredths, so we can just write that as 0, 0, 0,03, because they're no tenths, they're only 3 hundredths, and we're done there. Uh, next question, B, 5 over 8. Now, unfortunately, 8 doesn't go into, you can't multiply any number by 8 to get to 10 or 100, so you're going to have to go all the way up to 1,000, and... This should also be fairly common knowledge because it's quite a common fraction that they ask in this question. Um, and 8 times 125 will get you to 1,000. Um, and then what you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top to keep it as an equivalent fraction. That's going to then land up with 625 over 1,000. So you've got the denominator to be 1,000. And based on the decimal system, that's pretty straightforward. You can now just write that as 0, 0,625. comma six two five. And we're done with that question. Question C is a little bit trickier. Um, unfortunately, the denominator 7, you're not going to be able to multiply 7 by anything to get to 10, 100, or 1,000. You can try. But we have another strategy to, to answer this type of question. So I'm just going to write this below. Um, 2 over 7 actually means it's the same thing as saying 2 divided by 7. And we actually have a technique we can use for division. We just put the, um, the divisor on the outside of the bus stop and we put the, the dividend under the bus stop. So we're actually just dividing uh, 2 by 7. Um, 7 doesn't go into 2, so we write above there a 0. And we can almost imagine 2 is the same as 2 comma 0, 0. Just putting some zeros for placeholder value there. Make sure you line up the comma above the bus stop. Then you carry the 2, how many times does 7 go into 20? It goes in twice, remainder 6. Uh, 7 goes into 60, well, think of your multiples of 7. 7 times 8 is 56, so it's going to go in 8 times. And if we've got 56, that's a remainder of 4 to get to 60. And 7 goes into 40, 7 times 6 is 42. No, that's too much. 7 times 5 is 35. Now, the question specifically said... Um, you must round it off to two decimal places because this particular method would keep going on for, for a long, long time until you'd probably find a recurring pattern. But we only need to, f we've already got three decimals, we only needed two, but we needed the third one to know whether to round it down or round it up. Five, we always round up, so our final answer is going to be 0, 0,29. And we're done.